Hello and welcome back guys. I hope you're doing good today. I was not planning on doing a YouTube video right now, but then someone left me a message on Instagram and I was like, this, this needs a video. <laughs> um, so I posted this like reel today. I'm going to play it right here. Look at that. Can you see that? Butter. Butter. Um, it was just like a funny little reel, funny little sounds. It was like, ooh, look at that. Like, you're gorgeous. Like, say good things about your body in the mirror. That was pretty much the whole kind of just message of the uh, of the reel was stop like dissing your body all the time. Say something positive and learn how to just dance and have fun with yourself and with your body, right? Um and someone, let me read it right here, someone uh, commented and she said in caps, like in all caps, like, wow, you lost a lot of weight, Chloe. How come? Are you just faking what you were promoting? I was like, what? <laughs> like, okay. So let's chat about this, apparently. Um, first off, let me remind you of the year 2022. We shouldn't be commenting on people's body weights anymore. Like, we shouldn't be going up to someone that we know and being like, you look fat or you look so skinny. Like, we need to stop saying those comments and we need to instead if you're curious about someone's state of health if that's what's making you worried you should ask better questions hey how are you feeling i know you just went through nose surgery and last week you posted that you had the flu i'm wondering if you're all right because guess what that's kind of why my weight is at the lower end of my very healthy spectrum um but it's at kind of the lower end of it right now because i had no surgery uh literally back at the end of what was it february so it was february i had no surgery I couldn't eat like solid foods for four weeks nearly. Like it was intense. It was definitely not what I was like expecting coming out of nose surgery. It was really intense. I couldn't eat because I couldn't move my jaw because it would just move the muscles in my face and I could feel the bones moving. So my surgeon wanted me on like a liquid diet for a couple of weeks. So that kind of brought my weight down a little bit. And then I got hit with a flu and food poisoning. And then a couple of weeks later, I got hit with it again. So I, what was that? Just like not even a week ago, like my mom is sick from what I had so like she's still sick my dad had it my sister had it my three friends had it like my brother had it his partner had it we've all been really really sick with uh my sister who's an ear nurse said that it's probably norovirus the night I got sick I sent a picture of myself sitting on the toilet and holding a bowl in front of me saying oh no like this again to my friend who literally like two or three weeks before um, she was at my house when I got really violently sick with the food poisoning. Um, here is like our little like text message thread. I said, oh no, back to this again. She was like, oh F, I just puked too. I thought it was from the Advil on an empty stomach or something. Does your lower back hurt? Do you think it was something we ate? And I said, I think it's norovirus. Simon Marlowe and Ryan got sick. Are you feeling better? I got hit pretty hard. Threw up 20 plus times last night. And she was like, OMG, same here. Last night was hellish to say the least. And I was like, very hellish. And I meant to say here, uh, both ends again, literally all night. She was like, I had chills and a super high fever and spewing from both ends. And I'm like, yep. And then I texted my friend Dominique to see if she was feeling sick too, because she was with us all weekend. And this is what she said. I was like, hey, are you feeling good? And she's like, no, I was throwing up and had watery BMs all night. I am feeling pretty sick. How about you? And I was like, haha, oh no, all of us. She beat them, Claire, too. Marlo, Simon, Ryan. She's like, wait, really? F. So I was literally grabbing my pants and throwing up for like three days straight. And I'm just coming off of that. So yes, my weight might be a little bit lower than it normally is. Do I worry about that? No, because I eat perfectly normal and fine and I'm not faking anything. Um, I like would not be able to do the work that I do and to be surrounded by all the things that I'm surrounded by all day with like my clients and in the group course and everything while having a disordered relationship to food myself. So let me just assure everyone here that 
I practice what I preach and I show you guys that. I'm always like showing my meals and on YouTube, I've been starting to like, you know, show bits and pieces of like, this is what I'm having today. And they're very just replete, normal, normal, substantial meals. I use a lot of butter. I eat a lot of meat. I love my carbs. I love me all of the bread in the world. I love potatoes. I love rice. I love all those things. I don't restrict in any way, shape or form. I don't know why it just like irked me because I'm like, wow, that's a big accusation. <laughs> like that's a big accusation. And it's again, it's like, this is why we can't do these things. Um, be saying these type of things about people's bodies. Cause like you've, you've no idea like, and plus you should have an idea if you watch my content, because literally like two months ago, I did a video that was titled, I lost weight. The video was titled, I lost weight. And I shared my experience of being in my nose surgery and having lost a lot of weight because again, liquid diet for a couple of weeks, which mind you, I didn't do my nose surgery years ago because I knew I wasn't healthy enough to go through surgery and recovery process. So it says a lot, just the fact that like I felt healthy enough to be under anesthesia and then to go through this whole recovery process without, you know, fearing that my period all of a sudden was going to go away or that I was going to dip into very unhealthy behaviors with food again. That's why I didn't get my surgery when I broke my nose years and years and years ago. Um, and I've been breathing through like one nostril waiting to the moment where I was so healthy to do it. Um, but yeah, so I explained in that video how I had like bumped into someone at the store and she's like, oh my gosh, look, you're so tiny. You lost all this weight. And I was like, I literally like, do you see my nose? Like I just got out of surgery. I have like, I lose my muscle mass really, really quickly. So that's another thing too, with the flu, with the, um, with the nose surgery and all of that, I haven't been working out. Like I've been barely working out. I'm like just now, I feel like this last maybe like three weeks getting back into it, but then I got the flu. <laughs> I didn't work out for days. So I lose my muscle mass really quickly, unfortunately. Like the second I stop working out at the gym, I feel like I just lose a lot of my gains. And when I'm losing my, my muscle mass, sorry, Ugh, I can't speak. When I lose my muscle mass, I lose weight. Um, but again, I'm at, I mean, like literally last weekend, it was my sister's bachelorette party and I tried to put on a pair of my sister's pants and they didn't fit. And then I tried to put on um, my other sister. She had like this dress thing that she wanted me to try on for uh, for the wedding. Cause she's like, oh, just like wear one of my dresses. It didn't fit. <laughs> so I'm still very much in my healthy range and I'm at a bigger weight than my two sisters. So I'm not concerned in any way, shape or form about my body size or shape. I know I eat tons, I nourish myself well, I do not in any way, shape or form over exercise, and I totally practice what I preach, and my period has been on time and completely fine and nothing's been impacted. So anyways, I don't know why this irks me. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be so like irked about it, but I think that's like, I didn't know. It's like I spent years, years recovering from my eating disorders. I spent years training to do the work that I do. And I have spent years working with people in regards to healing themselves from eating disorders. And then to like be accused of faking it. I was like, say what? <laughs> like, okay, you obviously don't know me because there's not a single person in my personal life not a family member, not a friend who would say that I have a bad relationship with food. In fact, literally not joking. I like literally wish I recorded this, but I didn't have my phone on me. I was up at the top house the other day uh, for breakfast and my mom uh, was on the phone with my grandma and she told her that I had the flu. And my grandma, she was like, oh, that's because she was like, how did she say that in French? She was like, C'est parce que elle a, elle a un quoi, c'est, elle mal digéré, is what she said. Like, she doesn't digest well, which I'm like, 
I've never once complained about digestive issues, but my grandma is like, she doesn't digest well because she eats so much food. And she's like, she, she always just eats too much food at night and she gr will grab like two, you know, plates of food and then she'll eat dessert every night and she eats way too much. And I literally was sitting there and like my mom was FaceTiming her. She didn't know I was in the room. And I was sitting there, I was like looking at my mom, I was like, this is why I had eating disorders. And I finally like, I let her just like say her rant. And then I was like, bonjour nana, ça va? And I was like, I'm here, <laughs> like, hello. And I told her, I was like, I'm completely fine. You need to stop like overanalyzing what I'm eating. And I eat enough to support my body and stop thinking it's too much. So it's funny that I have like someone online that can be like, oh my gosh, are you like not eating? And then like someone in my personal life be like, you were eating too much. It's like, just let a girl freak can be I think I know my body at this point now and I know how to nourish myself and I know I know my state of health but thank you for the concerns everyone that's all I'm gonna say for this video um I'm anyways I'm going to go before I say more things that was just impromptu just had to like get that out there but yeah anyways okay talk to you guys later